So we've reached the last video in our Game Maker tutorials for Galactic Mail. This is number 10 and we're just going to add some finishing touches off to our game. As you can see here, we've learned all the sub skills that we need to be able to um, achieve our um, lesson goal of understanding how an object travels around in specific directions, wraps around the screen and interacts with other objects within a multi-level game. What's more, we have completed almost all of our specifications um, for the game itself. The last little specification that we need to finish off is adding music or background music to the game. Okay, so here we are. We um, you know, stop that, pause for a little while. Pause! Okay, so here we are. We now need to add in our music. So, background music. So, open our resources up here. Go to our sounds, right mouse click, create a sound. We need to choose the sound and we're going to call it music and it's an MP3. So, I'm just going to call this SND background. Now, we also know because it's an MP3, it's compressed. It's not streamed. Let's have a look and listen to it. Okay, so it's there. Sound has been created. So I'm actually going to put sound into our object splash because that's at the very beginning, that's in our first one. And I'm going to make this a create event. So an object splash gets created up on the screen when they load up the game. But at the very beginning, I want it to play the sound of background. And I do want this one to loop. So let's see. That's done. Let's run that and see if it does it. Running, running, running. It's done just what we wanted to do. So our final little task now is to have a message there for all those overachievers who actually get to the end of the game. So what I need to do is I need to create another object. So I'm going to come down to here, just another control object, so it has no sprite. And this object is going to be called ABJ um, Win. It's going to have no sprite, that's cool. Now, I need to make a draw um, event, because I want this draw thing on the screen. So, as you do with our draw events, we need to um, set the font. And we've got that one that we've saved in here, score. We set the font, we need to set the color, which is going to be right. We need to set the alignment, which is going to be in the center. And then, then, then I need to draw a value. Whoops, here it is. Um, draw a value. The caption is just going to say, congratulations. Um, all mail delivered. Both of the commas. The value, not going to worry about any value there, and we're going to put this in the middle of the room by using the room width variable and dividing that by two. And again put that height wise in the middle of the room. So room width no room height divided by two. Um, so we've done that. And oh, actually, I want to put the second line saying press any key to restart. So divided by two, and we've got two lines. This is going to be minus, no, not there. The height is minus 20. Minus 20. Now we're going to draw our second value in, which is press any key to restart. Start. Also, closing out of commas again. Center of the room, so that's room width divided by two. Um, middle of the room height wise plus a little bit. So room height divided by two plus twenty. Okay. So we've done that. Now we need the event. So that message is going to pop up. Now we need the event. So if any key is pressed, 
then we are going to restart the game. So, where is restart game? That's restart room, don't want that. We want restart game. Awesome. Okay, so that, that one I achieved. So, what we need to do now is we then need to go into our next level object. If you remember this, this is where we you know, drew the message up. Yep, we got to the end of the level, that's great. So when it first gets created, the alarm turns on and starts counting down. At the end of alarm zero, it checks whether the room is last. If the room is last, we go to the next room. But if it's not last, so if it's not last, it goes to the next room. If it is last, we want to do something else down here. And that something else is that we create an instance of um, win, object win. Radio, and we don't have to worry about where we put it, but we are making sure we put it on the explosion. Here with no S, explosion level. So it's going to be the very top level. So it's going to be on there. And um, um, zero. It's going to create an instance of that, and then it's going to destroy the instance of itself. No, of that destroy the instance of itself here because it's going to create the other instance destroy this instance and that should work and I'm going to get you guys to play that and make sure that, that goes through to the end because I'm not that skilled player good luck gentlemen and uh, congratulations on getting to the end of this one and we have one more game that we need to make so there we go we've added the background music as well as a little bit of a um, game and message and so we've now completed our game so in this video tutorial series, the, um, the new events that you've learned about is the end step, the animation and the alarm. We've learned about new actions of setting the direction variable, wrapping around the room, and jumping to point, setting sprite, change of instance, getting score, draw value, set alarm. If room is last, go to next room and get instant count. We've also learnt about the concepts of room layers, sub-images and sprite animation, object coordinates, direction, collision masks, title screens, rooms and levels, and room order. Which all means that we now know how and understand how to make objects travel in a specific direction, wrap around the screen, and interact with other objects within a multi-level game. Your challenge now is to go out there and use the skills that you learnt in this video series and the previous one of Evil Clutches and see if you can enhance the game by making changes to its design.